I don't know why in like 2018 that's any of your business or why it matters, but 24. Brittany Renner is an Instagram model and author. There's no indication that she did anything other than date famous athletes and entertainers in her 20s. Asking her how she paid her bills throughout her 20s was hopefully a question young PJ asked on their first date. Not that the answer mattered at all since his focus was probably on the one thing that stood out most about Brittany. 11 athletes. <laughs> Woo! Five entertainers. Woo! Eight regular guys. Woo! I've only if Three anybody has ever watched Instagram. this video of Britney, like this was Britney Renner's warning label. I, I'm pretty sure this video mm. was back in 2018, maybe even 2017. It's like when you buy cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. You like you absolutely know what's going on. Hey, welcome back to the Stir Fry Podcast. Absolutely. Uh, we wanted to start <laughs> off with Britney because it, Britney is still a trending topic. Absolutely. You know, people are, people are, are, are bashing Britney. And, 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 she, and on Sunday, she posted to Instagram. Um, hide your sons. What? <laughs> yeah, she was. She was. She was. So evidently, she lives in Charlotte, Brittany. If you, Absolutely. If you'd actually like to come on the podcast, please. We, we do not have guests. We do not. But we would love to have you, please, on the podcast. She was at the football game on Sunday. She was at the football game on Sunday with the Instagram post of mm -hmm. hide your sons. Um, she was looking good. And, and again, which is, which is another warning from Brittany. Yeah, hide your fucking son. Like this girl is telling you exactly. Who she is. She warning you other single moms. And, ahead, and, and, and what what <laughs> you know what can happen. Now, mm. two 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 things there. Mm. Um that was Spencer Cornelia. I don't know if any of you guys follow him on Instagram. I, I'll give him props because he actually he actually um make videos of un basically unveiling scammers and letting you know how scams work <laughs> and how folks are actually getting over on you. Cause y'all know this the hustlers podcast and absolutely uh, scammers are hustlers. They are. So, you know, you actually, you know, if you don't want to be scam, you might want to know how scams work, work. <laughs> so check him out. And that was him because he was actually posting the question of like how athletes go broke. Mm. Um, so if you keep watching that, it actually gets pretty, it's pretty good. It's about 13 minutes. Okay. And you know, PJ is at the beginning of, you know, how athletes go broke because Absolutely. going back to, you know, maybe episode number four or five, we talked about the cost of a kid. Yeah. You know, you know, one Brittany Renner, you can probably savage your life. Three, four Brittany Renners. No, you probably, you probably want to jump off a cruise ship. Yeah. Even in his line of work. <laughs> yeah. Even in his line of work, even with a max contract. Yeah. Trying to handle three or four Brittany Renners, handling one Brittany Renner seems even with his contract is just too much. Yeah. It seems like it's a bit, bit much, but you know, but let, let, let's talk about what she talked about there. <laughs> Body counts. Are, are you guys still, you know, your late thirties and forties. Are y'all still asking women? Um, what a body counts are? No, <laughs> but I will say this: as a young man on the pod, I have to stick up for my young boys. I don't think it matters anymore. But I just remember when I was younger. I don't even know why we was asking chicks that in the first way. First of all, because none of us was having sex. I'm well, going to no, we, we, we weren't having sex. Girls <laughs> was having sex way before guys were having sex. Yeah, <laughs> with some older creeps. Let's yeah. do it like that. Yeah. And so I just remember like asking girls, and I was like, I pray she don't ask me because it's going to be nobody. Yeah, it's going to be embarrassing. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be embarrassing. So it's going it's to be zero. And so, or, or and half. Now you like can't, I've been trying. <laughs> yeah, it's like now you can't even ask that because like why. Why does it matter? Well, and and, and, and that's my point is, uh, you know, look, is she yours now, right? Mm. Like, it, 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 can you trust her now? Is she loyal now? Uh, if, if she has a Britney Renner type video out there where she's basically saying athletes are stupid, you know, stars yeah. are stupid. If you want to come up on a check, you know, right? Have y'all went to fucking counseling, you know, yeah. to discuss like, hey, why did you make this shit? Like, yeah. what, what, the, what the fuck traumatized you? To where you thought this was okay. Do you still feel this way? Do you still feel this way? You know, and, be and, and do we think that PJ asked those questions? No. I, I think Spencer was right. I don't think PJ no. was even asking her, hey, how the hell are you paying your bills? He met her when he was 18. Yeah. He I, didn't care. No, he did not. Because Brittany is very attractive. She is bad. Yeah, like, I don't you know, I don't I don't care if it's a BBL. It's like she she killed it. She she's if, fine. if it is, she killed it. She she's fine. I I, I but I bet she's cold sculpt though. I bet you it's not a BBL. I bet oh, she's nah, cold sculpt. She, absolutely. But you know what's funny is is like these dudes meet these chicks, and I'm gonna be real. If you have a meta athlete, they aren't the smartest. Well, I mean, you you can't really be the most brilliant person when 
you know, in high school, you're not really focusing on the education. Nope. And then when you get to college, you're there for three months. You're there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're only there for the first semester. I don't know if anybody knows, if you're listening to this podcast, if you ever run into anybody that played basketball that was a lottery pick, they do not go to school after November. No, no. They, they don't attend a class after November. And, and, and I don't blame them because, you know, it, it is to make money, but perhaps, you know, we should, we need to make sure that these men have – Great guidance. Because one of the Absolutely. funny things about Spencer's video, he actually says that Brittany, Brittany basically did an amazing scouting job. Like, not only did yeah. she find a guy that could play basketball, she Absolutely. also found a guy that had no guidance and went to a team with no veteran leadership Absolutely. to advise him, like, hey, no, don't get the Instagram chick pregnant. Let me, let's do it like this. PJ is dating Brittany. While he's dating Brittany and getting her pregnant, his teammate, LaMelo is hanging out with Tiana. Yeah. I have great, I, I don't know this for a fact, but I feel like. I like Tiana too. I think we talked about her last episode. Yeah, we episode. did. Yeah, I yeah, have yeah. great, I feel good in saying I feel like Lonzo and LaVar called LaMelo and said, uh-uh, let that go. It like, would, it would. You could smash, but we're not. It we're would not, not surprise me if LaMelo already has a vasectomy. Oh yeah, oh, man. that's the other thing. <laughs> it would not, it would not surprise me. It I mean, would, I, I know that like vasectomies are not hundred percent reversible, but they're pretty decently reversible. Absolutely, it was it would not surprise me that he has not seen the top urologist on the planet. Absolutely, and had a vasectomy. It, Wouldn't surprise me at all. And that's that's the difference of having somebody, some leadership around you to say, nah, we can't let this happen. Let, let, let's call it what it is. That's the difference between having an in-home father. Okay. Active well, dad. Mike is going to say what I was trying to get to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, it, it is a reason why we we bang on this table, right? It, it, and, it, and here's the thing. It doesn't matter, like, anybody failures up to this point, right? Mm-hmm. Because what people like to do is try to detract. Well, you know, mm-hmm. well, you, you're not, you know, in the home. Or you, you this, you're that, you're, yeah. you know. Like, no, fuck all that, right? Like, can you learn from your mistakes? You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Can you look at where you are and say, you know what? Another way would be better. Absolutely. I, I had somebody, like, you know, ask me today. It was like, you know, do you have a problem with, you know, apologizing or admitting that you're wrong? And I was like, absolutely not. Yeah. I was like, you'd be a fool to defend something if you're wrong. Absolutely. You know, it, like, if you're if you're wrong and you know it and then you sit here and try to defend the shit, you're a fucking idiot. You're stupid. And then the second thing is, it's like, you know, people matter. So if my apology, like, I don't have to apologize or, or, or I don't have to pretend I'm wrong mm-hmm. to apologize to someone. Like yeah. if, if I correct someone or if we have a, a disagreement and they're, they're, you know, everything they're saying is based on opinion. I'm actually Googling shit and providing sources, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I'm being very condescending in doing so. I may owe that person an apology. Yep. It doesn't detract from anything that I've said though. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I want to welcome everybody back to the stir fry podcast. I have your favorite host over here, Mike, Pastor Mike, as we like to call him. Um, This is season three, episode nine, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Please make sure you check us out on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Uh, Please follow us on Facebook because it's getting funny. We post a lot of things. Shout out to Dream Girls Only um, on Twitter for reposting our video when we was talking about sex workers and scammers (laughs) last week. I appreciate y'all. They followed me because I told y'all. And I wasn't lying. Dream girls have the baddest chicks on Twitter. They fine. And um They do. It's they a got, cheat they code. Got, they got some baddies. Yeah. And so I want to thank them. And they always post in Britney and Tiana too. Yeah, and shout and shout out to all the, the, the pretty women in the world. And shout out to all the average women in the world. Absolutely. Because the average women are really cute too. They really yeah, are. Yeah, y'all like the average women are really cute, man. And like, y'all every, smarter. Everybody <laughs> most of the time that is true. <laughs> like, I mean, everybody doesn't have to be a 10, man. Like a good Good five and a half sometimes is works. All you need, you know, on a Friday afternoon. Absolutely. I hate I hate Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate Mike. I'll be over here just blindly, yeah, yeah. And I and I hear it and it hit and I'm like, I hate this guy so bad. Hey man, we, we do the setup over here. And uh, speaking of layups and alley hoops. I was about to go straight to sports. Kyrie and Wiggins. It okay. So both of their teams are saying they they won't be able to play in home games. Absolutely. But does this also mean that if Kyrie is in California, he can't play in Cali? So for those who not know, um, first of all, New York has a vaccine mandate. Like, yeah. it's getting there, right? And I'm not surprised that the NFL is fine. I mean, excuse me, the NBA is going to take, like, the NFL thing was like, we're going to we're gonna very heavily encourage 
and almost force people to get vaccinated, right? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you you are you are forcing people, but you know what? Though sometimes people need to be forced. Absolutely. Sometimes, absolutely, people need to be forced. Um, I, I'm old enough to remember when we didn't have to wear seat belts and we'd ride in the back mm. of pickup trucks and just all sorts of crazy, crazy shit, shit that should have never fucking happened, right? <laughs> crazy. <laughs> shit. And I remember when, like when the seatbelt law was being passed, people were just like. You know, why you're you're forcing me to wear the seatbelt? Like people actually made the argument. This was a real argument. Is that when I put a seatbelt on, it wrinkles my shirt when when I get in my car to go to work, right? Like and, 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 and like you know, imagine your shirt being wrinkled when you get thrown through the fucking window. Imagine Bruh. how that. Imagine those wrinkles. Like that was a real argument, man. You know, might not never have to wear a shirt again. Yeah, like <laughs> you, you have to. So you, we have to force people sometimes to do do things. What's Best for them. And so now we're in a situation where Kyrie Irving, who, by the way, has some of the wildest outlooks on things. And I'm not and I I feel like with Kyrie, they're kind of find unique ways to make him seem a little crazier than what he is on certain things. (laughs) But he doesn't help them. Right. Like, um, well, he doesn't help himself. Like, yeah, look, I don't I don't mind Kyrie saging before NBA game. I actually think that's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, I found it funny. Yeah. You know, I don't know how much it helped because. It's a huge ass arena. Yeah, you only on the floor, but go ahead. You know, but you know, Kyrie not being vaccinated. You know, like I don't, I don't know how. Like this doesn't help anything. Like if, if that's your stance, why don't you just retire? Mm. Right. So because you can't say I'm willing to give up the money and, and take the stance no. on vaccination. Who does that? You know, <laughs> but then not. You know, but not play. Like why don't you just retire then? No, you know if that's the case, I'll retire for it in the next two, three years. So, so your reasoning mm-hmm. is bullshit. Mm-hmm. Mm. It, it, it it really when you when you get down to the crux of it, you know this. I don't then just retire, right? Well, like, he's selfish. Change change industries. Like, no, you still want the money. Yeah, you still want to travel, whatever it is, right? Like, you yeah. still want to get out the house, you know, <laughs> and be on the road. Absolutely. You just okay. You don't want to get the vaccine for, because you're afraid or you're terrified or you don't believe in it for whatever reason. But your reasoning is bullshit because you could just retire. Like, if Kyrie retired, he wouldn't have to get vaccinated. And um, I'm on the I'm of the mindset that Kyrie probably probably um, I think he wants to be pushed out the NBA, man. It's certain people like certain things he do. Um, this whole vaccine thing, uh, you know, the whole media thing is like it's almost like, yo, I I just want to show up, play ball, and go home. But I don't want to talk to y'all. Deal. With, I don't want what comes with it. Um, and so with Kyrie, you know, he he is his own person. He has his own line of thinking, which I do respect and what I really do like about him. But it's like. Bro, sometimes as a fan, sometimes I'm like, yo, I don't have time to deal with your emotions. Like, yo, we only asking for you to show up October through June. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You getting paid good money to do it, great money to do something that you're great at. And honestly, bro, I'm going to keep it a buck. I think that's going to be the next downfall this year. Him. Yeah, well, um, I mean, I think that was a downfall last year. I mean, even him. though it was, it was injuries, but, yeah. you know, him he not being available and, and I mean that's that's sort of Kyrie. That's sort, that's sort of par for the course. Like Kyrie's definitely one of the best point guards I've ever seen. But Kyrie is also definitely one of the, you no. know, if you if you <laughs> ask me who's not going to be available in the playoffs, uh, it's going to be Kyrie. It's going to be Kyrie. James and Harden that, was and out that's there on the fat. team with Kevin Durant and James Harden. James Harden was out there, you know, looking like Mr. <laughs> T dribbling a basketball, and Kyrie over there with a mask on, just hopping around, saging places. So I mean, I don't know. And Andrew Wiggins, I don't know what the hell you thinking. You probably this might be your last contract, buddy, and you're gonna be on the veterans minimum trying to figure some shit out. And it, I don't know, man. It, 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 NBA competition is getting stiff, so it is. And you know what? It, it kind of brings me back to the whole thing of why Cam Newton does not have a job right now. Yeah. Um, most people don't know Cam Newton don't he don't have a job because the person behind him caught up skill level wise, so to speak. And they basically said, like, yo, he don't want to get vaccinated, and we need somebody that's gonna be available. Yeah, we willing to tank a year. Or, you know, to suck a year for this for growing pains because you won't get vaccinated. And Cam out here doing interviews with his dad talking about some my personality was too big. Whatever. <laughs> Come on, fathers. We got to step it up. We do. Hey, you know, and speaking of stepping it up. So Stir Fry Podcast, you know, we talk we about go. relationships, intersectionality of business, even though we haven't done a lot of business this year. We're going to get back to it. We're going we're gonna to get back to it. <laughs> but I also saw 
um, where this lady on the view stated that she barters sex with her husband if he puts their three kids to bed. So basically, you know, if you put the kids to bed, then I'll have sex with you. In in, in the term of men, how successful would this arrangement be with most men? If you do this, then I'll have sex. Which means if I don't put the kids to bed, I don't get none. I don't get none, right? Let me think. Which means on the nights that I don't want to have sex, I, the only thing I got to do is just not put the kids to bed. Yeah. like, And that's <laughs> not helping. That's absolutely not helping. Well, the thing is, is it good? Let's say I put the kids to bed. Is it going to be like some of the best I ever had or is it going to be that same mediocre stroker? This is her quote. She said that <laughs> bedtime is really raunchous and such a physical job. Now, she used the term physical job, which means sound like the husband just beats the shit the fuck up. <laughs> and, you know, and maybe she's not enjoying it. Mm. Um, you know, it. I did. I wrote this in the notes today for future podcast. We do need to discuss sex. Yeah, on this fucking podcast it's be with, great. with it's men, gonna, it's gonna be because fucking that's how you get these transactional fucking deals. Is that when your woman is saying that it's a really physical job? I'm sorry, sex with me is not a fucking job. We we, okay. we we're enjoying this together. True. If we're not enjoying this together, what the fuck are we doing? You know what I'm saying? Mike is a little older, so you know them young boys that's out here listening, they like, yo, it's a job with them. No, bro, I'm look, playing. look, look. <laughs> let me tell you something. If, if a woman is not enjoying sex with you, it is pointless. The likelihood of her cheating on you is astronomical. Excuse yeah. me. It, it, women out cheat men from 18 to 29, period. So if you're between this age bracket, you should all, it, 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 you feel like you want to cheat, it's a good chance she feels the exact same way. Absolutely. So understand that first off. But <laughs> secondly, if you're if you're not her best, we started off with body counts, mm. right? If you're not her best, bruh, those body counts are going to <laughs> keep increasing and increase. Because Going what happens up. is, uh, let me put y'all in a little bit of game. Uh oh, here y'all, we go. Y'all break up, right? You break up, and then she she goes on her break, and she now she's out clubs, popping bottles, and all this other shit. You know, you out here because you think it's fun, and you get out here and you date like two, three chicks, then you rely. They ain't shit. Yeah. And then you look over here at her and she's popping bottles every fucking weekend. She in right? Miami. Yeah, because you know she's Atlanta. attractive. She's good looking. She's young. She in Houston. Yeah. So she's over here crushing it. And and you don't and you lie to yourself and tell yourself that she's not getting smashed. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you that like ain't no four thousand dollar table has a chick at it and ain't getting fucking smashed <laughs> in Miami, in Houston, in DC, in New York. Right, look, man. Like and, and, and Charlotte, Charlotte's getting pricey too. So like, yo, these eighteen hundred dollar tables, I'm telling you. Ch- Chances are someone's getting smashed yeah, at the fucking table. She getting she getting tag team. Yeah, so he, well, she might not get tag team. Come she, on, man. Did she, I send you that? Never mind. I it, you. But she but you know it, it's a chance or that she's enjoying herself. Absolutely. So as men, right, like we focus on all the wrong fucking things. All right. If if your woman is saying that your job, that her sex with you is a physical fucking job, and she wants to trade putting your kids to bed for sex, bruh. Step your sex game up. That S- step your I I I have seen mothers put their kids to bed to have sex. Not you put the kid to bed. Facts. Like nah, Facts. You, it's gonna take you too long, and I'm ready to get to the business. Yeah, so I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and put the kid to bed real quick. Or they just sauce you up and be like, "Yo, don't come to this time. I gotta put these motherfuckers to bed." <laughs> exactly right. You so. know what I'm saying? It's it's funny to think of it like that. I, I don't understand why people have very like transactional relationships. You know, um, it's hard to wor- it's hard to work in a transaction relationship because what do you do when resources you know are low? You know what I'm saying? Cause, absolutely. Because because you know humans pretty much have a scarcity mindset. So when whether it's your time is low, mm-hmm. your money is low, mm-hmm. you know your drive to to actually have sex is yeah. low. Like if if you if we don't have anything else to rely upon, I mean. You can't get those things. I was laughing because um, I'm laughing at this whole transactional thing because I was going through something and my dad was like, yo, stop. Keep. He's like, don't keep score in your marriage. And it was nothing that me and my wife was going through per se, but we were just I was just telling him like something was bothering me. He was like, yo, don't never keep score. And so, you know, transactional shit is basically just keeping score. Yeah, like, yo, it. you got to do this, and I give you this because I'm too tired. You wear me out. These kids wear me out. And it's so crazy. And somebody getting cheated on that relationship. And if you ever get a chance, go on Reddit and look up the cheating thread. 
It is the funniest shit. People it, just post all day how to get cheated. Yeah, on. yeah. I mean, it, and it is like, and and that's the thing. You, you can't. Okay, good segue. You can't be afraid to get in relationships because you, because you don't want to get cheated on. Okay, right? like fear, fear exists. Okay, like, it, and no one ever becomes less afraid. So if you're afraid True. of something, you're never going to be less afraid of it. Absolutely, like fear is, fear is irrational. <laughs> so so there's no there's no facts, there's no set of data mm. that's going to ever make it make you feel better, right? Absolutely. So you don't so you don't become less fearful. What happens is you become more brave, mm. right? You have you create you create courage, and then you go in spite of your fears, or you know even regardless yeah. of your fears. So if you guys are out there, you're like, yo, I don't want to be cheated on. Or, you know, y'all women out there like, yo, all men cheat. And then you're letting that affect your ability to give someone your your best self. Then, like, you're, you're never going to not be afraid. Absolutely. You're always going to be afraid. What you got to do is just have the courage to say, you know what? I'm going to try this shit. I'm going to give my best fucking self. Absolutely. And if it, does, if it doesn't work, man, oh, well, I'm going to go to the next person. I'm going to try it again. Yeah. I'm going to give my best fucking self. Absolutely. And if it don't work, oh, like... You really, really got to do that because that's where success comes from. It's the funniest shit, man. Um, why women get lied to so much? You know what? So it's the simps, right? <laughs> so it, it's definitely the simps. We, we, we def, it is definitely the men that that are always saying what a woman wants to hear. And 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 and, and I'm realizing it, it's, it's twofold, right? So you have you have men who hate men. Absolutely. Right? So you have so you have men who they don't have the courage to be fully masculine men because mm. they don't want all the responsibilities that come with that. Absolutely. There there are some men that actually want to be 50-50 men. Yeah. And there's men out there that actually want women to take control and take charge. Bro, it's, it's sidebar. There's yeah. a dude on my Facebook. Every chance he get to talk shit about people who are against 50-50 men, yeah. he goes for it. And that's all. I need yeah. To say <laughs> like so, you, but, but there's dudes out there, there that you know they want the woman to handle everything, right? Yeah. So they're gonna always be in the camp of you, men that handle everything are always gonna be in the wrong. Absolutely. So that's how they see things. It's it's funny. Yeah. And so, so they lie to women. So you got so you got those guys. Absolutely. And then you have so Cosmo wrote the article back. Well, the editor, the former editor of Cosmo, mm. wrote the article back in 2015, 2016, 2017, somewhere, somewhere. There. I don't read Cosmo. No. Nah. But I I do remember reading reading um the article where she stated that we intentionally wrote bullshit feminist propaganda. Mm. You know, for women, basically telling women that they can have it all. Yeah. So she was like, her boss wrote a book. Um. You can have it all. Her boss was uh, the editor. The editor name was Store, right? So if anybody okay. want to look the story up, Store, um, S T O R. She worked on all the women's magazine, and mm -hmm. I, I forget who hired her. Um, oh, she was she was hired by I'm reading it now Helen Brown. So Helen Brown was a person that back in the seventies, you know, started creating all these these women empowerment magazines, mm -hmm. and. Uh, there's, there's a CIA spook also that 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 started creating magazine during this time frame. So I don't know if they're all connected, but probably so. Yeah. But she wrote this book on you can have it all, and she and and, and she was like when she when she became editor, she realized two things that one her her boss did not have children. Yeah. And wanted kids, <laughs> yeah. right? And also the title of her book Have It All. She was adamantly against that title. Because she was upset at how much she lost or gave up to run, you know, Cosmo and whatever family magazines that come on the Cosmo. Yeah. So she's woman number one, right? Writing this magazine. Mm -hmm. So and in, in, you know she inspired and raised Miss Store, and Miss Store is like, yo, we I would write these same propaganda articles telling women that you can have it all and everything is going to be available for you. And come to find out, she is she she ended up being just as disappointed. <laughs> and, and like you guys really, really, really should go and, and like read like how much she lost. And here's the thing: every woman don't want that. Like there, there's a ton of women who don't want kids. Yeah, I know men who don't want kids, and I res Absolutely. I respect those people because yeah. if you don't want children, you want you should have them. Yeah, uh, you know, I think I think the number of unwanted pregnancies that result in abortion is like north of seventy percent. Mm. That's way too high. Yeah, uh, abort. You can prevent being pregnant. Absolutely. You absolutely like you. You can wear contraceptives. They. I see a commercial on TV now for a gel that you can use with contraceptives. Bruh. It's non-hormonal. You can you you can use birth control. You can use Plan B. 
Only if you're under 160 pounds, fellas. So if she's under 160 pounds, plan B is effective. If she's over 160 pounds, plan B may not be effective. You might be having a baby cub. Just give you a heads up. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, so there's so many ways to not have kids, right? So at what point do we become accountable? And mm. we're talking to the men. I'm not Absolutely. even talking to the women. At what point do we become accountable where we stop getting women pregnant that do not want to have children? Mm. Are we not having these conversations beforehand? No, they not. I'm t- I'm t- I'm here to tell y'all, we are not. Um, I remember one time I was messing with a young lady, and I remember she told me straight up. She said, "Look, don't know where you want to go in your life. Don't know where you want to be in your life. But I'm never having kids." <laughs> and I looked at her and I was like, "Thank you." And the reason why I told her thank you because in my mind I'm like, I cannot. Have a kid with this person. Yes. I mean, because it, I just knew who she was, kind of. She wasn't cute. Let me go into the truth there. And I was just like, it's no way possible. This and is, and imagine imagine having a kid with somebody who don't want kids, right? And don't want to be with you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like, she don't know who she hates more, right? Exactly. You are the baby. Yeah. So should I keep the kid away from the father? Because God forbid I hand the, the I hand the child to the father and the father wants the kid and he doesn't want me, mm-hmm. you know, then what, what's my, what is my claim to, you know, being a woman or my claim to fame, you know, at this point. So no, I, I'm actually, I'm actually wondering what is it, what is it going to take for us to one, be more accountable, you know, for two, what, what, if we can't stop the simps from lying to women about every single thing, or not, let's say that. I won't say y'all simps lie about every single thing. Just ninety percent. But you lie about a lot. You, a lot. You, you 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 give you give this impression of of safety where there is no safety. Okay. You know, <laughs> like the, like the ideal of, of of taking care of a child and 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 waking up. Like humans need sleep, right? Absolutely. You know, and it's easier for the two of you to work through this than one than one of you. Let me give you an example. Um, last week I was on here and I was talking about, I finally realized that Mike was a hundred percent correct after four weeks or three weeks is four weeks now of having a child at home. And I realized, yes, you should not have a kid unless you're married. Right. So I'm on Facebook and I, I share our video. Um, excuse me. I share another video from another pie. And then, um, I have, I have somebody who's going back and forth with me. And I finally look at bruh, I right, bruh, and I go, yo, we gotta stop the bullshit of, all right, no, you don't have to be married, you can co-parent in the same house. You can, but but here's the thing, we we have to have a commitment, right? Absolutely, there, because humans are so fickle. There's literally nothing that that we allow people to do without a commitment. Absolutely, you can't get a cable subscription. Damn near Bro, without a fucking commitment. You can't. You know, you can't, your cell phone, your, 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 like, everything requires a commitment because humans are by nature non committal, right? Absolutely. The commitment is the discipline. Your credit score is going to be your discipline mm-hmm. and your commitment into paying your fucking bills on time. Mm-hmm. Why, do, why, when it comes to another human being, we just want to be lackadaisical when it comes to the commitment? Absolutely. Well, my thing is this BBC came out with an article. They said there's really no difference between married couples and two parents that live together. Yeah. And they're not married. They said it's literally no difference. Right. And he he used that as an article. I said, cool, cool, cool. I said, well, how many people, you know, are crushing it? That's two people living in a household that's not married, have no intentions to get married. And they just co-parenting. And I was like, we got to stop lying to people because do people shack up? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not. Look, do what you got to do, whatever. I ain't that ain't. Wait, we, yeah, about. we ain't even saying that's bad. Nah, yeah. but my thing is, is like, how many people go in those situations and crush it? Do you want to risk it? And you know, then I I talked to bro, and I'm like, yo, we gotta stop lying to women on so much shit that yeah. we tell them. Like, I I appreciate the fact that my dad thought enough about my mother, yeah, who I love dearly, yeah, to marry and commit to her. Absolutely, right? Like, I I appreciate that. Why wouldn't I give that to my son, right? Absolutely. If I if, if I could, absolutely. And so it's like you know the the failures. Like so, when I look at myself and my son, I we know that conversation. I know what conversation I got to have with him. Mm-hmm. But this isn't a mistake that I need to be making over and over and over and over again. Because because guess what? If he sees that over and over and over again, he thinks it's cool. He thinks it's cool. Just, or he thinks it's okay. Or he goes in the opposite mm-hmm. direction. 
Like we do have to hold ourselves accountable as adults of what we're teaching future generations. Absolutely. You're like, you know, is there a difference between being married and you know, okay, you know, is there a difference between having a rental car and, and, and having a car note? Yeah. <laughs> you know, because that rental car, we're going to drive that bitch like shit. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Like we're being honest because it ain't mine. <laughs> I'm hitting every fucking pothole. I don't give a damn about the tires. I'm putting 87 in this bitch. Look. I don't care. <laughs> right. Running the air the whole fucking time. <laughs> Running the air the whole time. But but my car. Absolutely. I'm probably going to avoid those potholes. Absolutely. I'm probably going to put 89 in it at least. At, at least. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm going to park it away from somebody who dings it, right? Get that shit washed. That's the difference between a rental and a commitment. Absolutely. You know, and I don't, and look, y'all motherfuckers like to like to argue. Like, that's a bad fucking analogy. Get the fuck out of here with your straw man fucking argument. Look, Make a better one. Ab- what well, you know, I, <laughs> I laughed because I told bruh, I said, yo, I hope you got some kids out here. Or somebody, you have kids or planning on having kids. And he's like, nah, I don't want neither, nor do I want to be married. And I was like, bro, what, we can't talk. Like, in my mind, I'm like, first of all, let me send out a huge apology to all parents that um, I've spoken to before I had a kid. And I said something, you, y'all said, <laughs> yo, you don't get it. You don't understand once you have a kid. I get it now, okay? Um, then I noticed I'm talking to women who have this thing of like, no, you don't have to be married. And I'm like, yo, who the fuck are y'all lying to? Like, of course, let's let's put it like this. Do you have to be married to have a kid? No. Can you go out here and crush it as a single mom? Possibly. But let's go ahead and look at it. You know what I'm saying? The depression rate for y'all, for your kids, is possibly double. Well, you know I mean, yeah, saying? I mean, look, the science is there. It is. You, you, I mean, you can sit here anecdotally all the fucking day and say, you know, my kid, can be the kids are the same. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> the data is there. The data is the data is saying that kids kids that come from a married two parent household like the their rates of going to jail is drastically lower Absolutely. than a kid that that has a two parents in the home. We ain't got to get into poverty. Poverty. We ain't got to get into emotional. We ain't got to get into depression. Educational levels. Yes. it does not support it. It does. And, and I think you know what, Mike. I was looking at it and I said. We going through all this and I'm realizing that people are women, excuse me, are getting lied to because it's like somebody is afraid to hurt y'all feelings. And men are doing a line too, right? Because they, yeah, oh, like oh, they campaigning this shit. Yeah, I mean a lot a lot of these these simps, you know, I I remember I was having a conversation with a guy online and I'll mm-hmm. never forget. Like he he was so adamant, you know, regarding one thing, yeah. man. And I was just like, bruh, this <laughs> This seems personal. Like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, you know, I'm I'm laying out, you know, facts. And then I'm laying my pen. It's just like, yo, this is what I think. And, you know, he was coming at me. And I was like, you know, ad hominem attack. All right. I see it. Right. Yeah. You're not you're not even addressing my points. You, you're trying to address me. And, exactly. I, and, and I and I told bro, like, bro, I don't get upset with dudes on the Internet. I Absolutely don't. Not. You can say you can say whatever the fuck you want to say on the Internet. It's bro. funny. I am not about to get upset with a dude on the Internet. Bro, it's the funniest. I rarely get it. I rarely get upset with dudes in real life. He don't. <laughs> you know, so on the Internet, like, come on, bro. I don't think I've ever seen you mad now that I'm thinking about it. Not no, even on the court. It's, it's, it's no it's no reason to be upset. Nah, that's weird. I can't trust Mike no more. Because because. <laughs> Mike's mad is like real mad. Like, I'm letting y'all know. Yeah, like, I've been knowing Mike since easily 2011. In 10 years, I've never seen you upset. That's weird to me now. Bro, I, I've seen your brother mad. I've seen your sisters I mad. I don't get upset because because here's the thing. It's like if we got to handle something, I'm going to handle it. So it's like I don't even need to be. I don't, I don't even have to be mad at handling it. But here's the thing. though. I, this is what I told bro. I said, why are you this way? Mm. You know, and like when, and when it got to the crux of it something happened as a kid it was his mom right like he had put he had put his mom in the situation that we were discussing right and i was like and i left it alone because at that point right there's, there's nothing i can say that's going to change his opinion about his mom he too invested and that, and, and and that's why i'm like when you're talking about this dude to say he don't want to have kids he doesn't mm-hmm. want to be married it right? was his parents and he's fighting it so much it what his, is it right it was his parents it's your parents and it's like man bro we can't even get to the bottom of issues, right? Because, yeah. like, if that dude was in front of me and he was like, that was his mom, I would ask the question, right? Because he's in front of me, right? Yeah. He, can't, he can't get big in front of me unless he really wants it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Absolutely. I'm not being disrespectful when I say, hey, dude, what what put your mom in that situation? Was yeah. it her parents? Was it her poor decision making? You know, was it the environment? Because I think when sometimes we look at why the bad decisions were made by some of our parents, right? Mm-hmm. Like, we understand it. Like, look, 
a lot of our parents didn't go to college because of fucking apartheid. Yeah. There was no colleges to go to close by. Absolutely. They couldn't go to, you know, the, 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 the city college. Absolutely. You know, so it's like, all right, we understand why our parents are a lot of times less educated, right? Mm-hmm. So why can't we look at a lot of times why our parents were not married? Yeah. You know, why our parents had us out of, you know, wedlock. Mm-hmm. Like, what transpired? Because those are stories that we need to know and understand so we don't make those mistakes. But online, I can't say that. I can't say, yo, dude, so your mom was the side chick, baby mama number three? Yeah. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Because that's rude. That's disrespectful. Yeah, and, and it's like, I, I don't even mean I don't even mean it like that. But we do have to put perspective on the situation. Absolutely. Um, I looked at two weeks. I, I've been having this conversation of uh, being married and having kids. And they fighting us, bro. Oh, bro. They are my, fighting us. My DMs <laughs> is amazing. But you know what? Everybody um, everybody I got in DMs from, right, that disagree. I've had two women that have kids, mm-hmm. single moms. Um, and both of them, t- I'm going to be fair, both of them wrote me back and was just like, yo, I agree with you, but it just pisses me off because, and then what it ends up happening is they talk about their baby dad. Yeah. And about how he ain't shit. And I know both of the women and they're both great, educated, smart women who probably g- got suckered in by a uh, ain't shit dude. Right. Got sucked in by a simp because he said everything that yeah. they wanted to hear. And, so, and then the other, the other two people, three people, excuse me. One was a 20 year old girl who has no kids. No, no comment. Um, One was a dude who basically told me his parents wasn't shit. He's not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He never wants to get married. And another one was another girl who I just know she has no kids and she's not married. So I'm laughing because I'm when I, and I looked at it and I go, damn. And let me put it like this. I had plenty of baby moms, single moms reach out to me and go, yo, I don't like this, but you're right. <laughs> if I had to do this shit over. Yes. I would have rather said, yo, I would. And I think a lot of people think of it and say, damn, if I agree with you, that means I don't want my kid. I don't want my situation. I don't want this blood. And it doesn't mean that. And all the moms was like, and you know what? I laugh at it today because I was talking to a young lady and she's like, yo, I had to get, it took me a while to realize like being a single mom, even though I'm crushing it, is not a badge of honor. No. And I laughed last night because I'm on Instagram and some girl name is whatever underscore single mom and i'm like why the fuck is that your instagram name and, and here's the thing there's more single moms in other ethnicity ethnicity yeah black ethnicities than, but, than 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 black women but like, you would not know if you was on social you media. would not know it on social media nah. man like if for some reason it, it, for us it's like yo i'm you know i'm over here crushing it and it's like look there are better things to be Absolutely. You know, like, and, and, and secondly, get help from that dude. Absolutely. Because I, look, I get it. I understand why, why, why guys walk away. Like even the most well-intended guy. I mean, if you haven't went to court and if you don't have a court order, you're at the mercy of, you know, what, however the hell she's feeling that day. Right. Absolutely. So I get over time, especially if a man goes and remarry and starts another family. Oh yes. Yeah. Right. You, you, you <laughs> probably never seen that child again. Right. Nah. And that's wrong. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I'm saying I understand how it happens, right? Like Absolutely. it's the same way I understand if somebody's looking down on their phone and texting and they rear into somebody. I ain't understand. saying the motherfucker right, but I know how it happened. How it happened. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, so it's like when I see, you know, a lot of these kids being being raised without fathers, mm. boys and girls, and then we have a generation like these these kids between 18 and 28 right now mm-hmm. that have, you know, no respect and no commitment to anything. Mm-hmm. Right? I get how that happens. Like I'm not, I'm not blaming the kids. Like I, as much as, as funny as Brittany Renner is, mm-hmm. I know how she gets here. Absolutely, I know how PJ gets here. Absolutely, it's better that Brittany and PJ end up together than Brittany end up with a dude that's actually out here trying to kill shit, to kill shit, and and, 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 and could be the next fucking Bill Gates. But he ran into, but her. he ran into Brittany. Absolutely, and you know what's um, what's funny is I. It's sad, and I don't think my generation, this is on my generation, I don't think we've realized that um, you get simps because dudes grow up with single moms with no relationship with their dad, and they think women supposed to act a certain way only because they watch their mom create these things. Yeah. What's up happening is they low-key hate women, expect women to act a certain way, and the only way they know how to get women is demand. Well, and, do and things, just, right? Because chances are they saw mom 
the chances are mom did not have the opportunity to be caring and loving and kind. Mm-mm. Chances are mom had to be active, busy, tired as fuck, and quid pro quo. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, to, you give to receive. Yeah. So, so what these guys believe is, is that me giving, you know, is going to provide you, it's going to make you provide me a better opportunity than what my mom had because my mom was struggling. Yeah. Right. I can look at you and you're not struggling. Yeah. Right. So if I give to you, then I'm going to expect you to be better Mm -hmm. than how my mother was. Right. Absolutely. And the problem is, is that all transactional relationships are the same. Absolutely. It doesn't matter if you, it doesn't matter if you're worth a hundred million dollars or a hundred dollars. Yeah. If the relationship is transactional, the moment, the, the moment it slows down on one end, Somebody on the other end is recognizing that they're doing more than the other person is mm-hmm. receiving. And that's not how love works. And love, you you should always be putting out more than what you're fucking receiving. Absolutely. You know, and, 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 and I, I don't, I don't, I know that sounds crazy to some people because I can't tell you how many times a day I read, you know, I, I'm going to treat you the way you treat me. If you think that you, you think that you can tell me off, you know, wait till I tell you all if you cheat on me. <laughs> I, I could cheat 10 times worse. I was having this conversation with somebody I cared about, you know, the other day. And, and you know, she was just saying, you know, basically, like, if you if you went out here and you was with, you know, like, you know, another woman, you know, then you can't get mad at her for going out here and, you know, cheating on you. you mm-hmm. Like, you know, you just got to endure that. And I said, all right. I said, let me flip that for one. I said, let me, let's say I'm dating a woman mm-hmm. and I, I'm, I'm, I'm crushing it in the relationship, but for whatever reason, for whatever lack of discipline mm-hmm. or boredom she had, she decides to cheat on me. Right. Mm-hmm. And I find out, I said, now when I find out, I said, you're telling me that, that the best behavior for myself <laughs> is to go out here and fuck another broad. <laughs> like that would be the best behavior of me. My woman cheats on me. I find out the first thing I should do is go and fuck another broad. <laughs> I say, do you understand how toxic that fucking sound? Shit sounds stupid. I was like, if, if my girl cheats on me and I'm fucking crushing it, right? Yeah. You know, I either decide to stay or leave. Absolutely. And I was like, if I stay, me cheating on her isn't helping. No. And if I decide to leave, I'm, yeah. one, I'm no longer cheating. But two, that's still lame as fuck for me to just go out here and sleep with a broad. Just because. Just because. I, I'm sad. I'm sad. Like, what the <laughs> Like, are we dead emotionally immature as fucking adults? Where the dad's at, man. So if I so if I cheat on my woman, right? Mm-hmm. And my woman, you know, just like fucking like forgives the fuck out of me. Like, yeah. you know what, babe? Yeah. Shit. I don't know how that happened, but you know what? Let 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 me create an environment that's safer for you to communicate with me with what the hell went on. Yeah. Right? I mean, for one, I'm not gonna trust it because I'm fucking traumatized by yeah. relationships <laughs> in America. <laughs> but if she was serious and I did happen to fucking trust it, right? You really think I would disappoint that woman in any other avenue forever? Like, no. She has she can get whatever she wants for whatever the fuck she wants. And I would say the same thing for a dude. Like, you know, I mean, I, I hope none of y'all girls are cheating on y'all, but it happens. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but if you they actually cheat. if you actually stay with the woman and, and, and that happened, you know, and you actually forgive her, right? Like you ain't keeping score. You're not, mm-hmm. you know, and I, look, I know there's some real grown up shit. There's some heavy shit right here. Look, no one likes getting cheated on. I, nah. And I don't even know why it's that big of a deal. I I would rather you cheat on me than blow all my fucking money. I ain't even gonna lie. Fair. <laughs> I, I, I would rather you I would rather you cheat on me than than you, you know, make me believe that I'm raising four kids and I ain't oh that, that aren't my kids, right? Oh like my if gosh. you would cheat and wear condoms, like I'll stay on birth control, <laughs> but like all my kids was mine, I'd prefer that. Then you like look, do that instead of me raising another dude kids thinking they mine. There's a lot of things worse than fucking cheating, man. It is a lot of shit worse. <laughs> so I, again, Gosh. my my point is, we don't have to be toxic human beings and cheat out of town. Don't cheat in town. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of better ways to cheat. Man. Like, if you want, if you want, DM me if you want to know how to cheat. Like, just, <laughs> just just DM me. I'll tell you how to how to how to fucking cheat. You know. But at first, I'm gonna tell you not to cheat because. I, I don't like I I do not cheat in relationship. Yeah. I'm saying this for the fucking internet. Anybody could disagree in the fucking comment. Like Look. you have some women to be like, you know, I don't know. He was messing with me when he was messing with somebody else, and and I'd be like, you aren't my girl. Look, man, I feel bad. I had to tell a young lady, man, recently. Um, she was cheated on. Uh, the dude she was talking to was twice her age. You know what I'm saying? And I felt bad for Wait, her, man. She- she dated a guy twice her age, and that dude cheated on her. Yeah, man, she got a great job. She was a great girl. Too. Dude's a dude's an idiot, and bro. Not only did bro cheat, he got a whole family and shit. 
And she was just like, I just want to reach out. And she said the famous line, I just want to go to her woman to woman. I said, <laughs> girl, if you, I said, look, man, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Leave that shit alone. Dog. Leave that shit alone, man. I said, yo. Like, hurt, you- seeing someone else hurt because you hurt isn't yeah. going to help. And like, as soon as, I don't know how it is because I'm not a woman, but as soon as I would read something and I say, hey, woman to woman, I would delete that fucking Well, I mean, text, well, no, because, not, because now the, the other woman wants to hear. But here's the problem is that once, <laughs> once they reveal this shit, you know, because I have a ton of, 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 of women friends. Yeah. Once they reveal that shit, they always do the same fucking thing. They block him. They block her. Yeah. They block any associates, right? Yeah. Because they don't want to see the fallout, right? Uh, they don't want to see the aftermath. They go and light the fucking match. I was about to say, light your house on fire. And then and they, they go and run the fuck yeah, off. So it's like, home. yo, don't do that shit. Like, mm-hmm. look, be a fucking adult. If you decide to sleep with a married man or a married woman, and then that, and then their shit's falling apart, man, that shit ain't got nothing to do with you. Yeah. Like, that, that like... That ain't even our podcast. Our podcast is really about wealth building, which means, one, you need to be married because it's easy to build wealth, and you need to have your kids at home because kids out of wedlock is the biggest fucking suck of wealth Bro. outside of opening a goddamn bar and going bankrupt. Bro, Jeff Bezos made so much money you know, for me in the last month. <laughs> Bro. Like, you, it, it is impossible. Bro, you have a ball formula? Bro, it's expensive. It is fuck. expensive as fuck. It's expensive it, it look, as fuck. My mom called me today and was like, oh, so how much does formula cost now? I told her, she said, no, 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 that's the big one. I said, no, it's not. That's the cost of the small one. I don't know what you, I don't know what you how much is How much is a small formula right now? Bruh, let, got, the, let the dudes know out here. All right, I'm going to give y'all a buck. The small container is like 20 something dollars. Um, first of all, they got like five different kinds of formula with the same <laughs> brand. You know, you want yeah. extra sensitive, you want regular sensitive, you want whatever. The big joint, the smaller, excuse me, the medium size is like 60. Jeez. And the big joint on Amazon, and you know Amazon, a couple of dollars cheaper, is like $110, bro. And, bro, y'all going to run through these shits fast. Bro, we, I just. Kids, kids be like eight bottles a day, bro. Bro, I think the medium one I got only does like 60-something bottles. It's something <laughs> ridiculous. To put it in perspective, bro, he, do, he does every three hours, let's say every four hours. That's six bottles a day, bro. That means yeah. in 10 days, I'm going to have to spend another 60-something dollars to get this shit. Yeah. And so I'm thinking, I'm like, 10 days, all right, $60. We money gone, fella. Bro, do, do not have kids. Bruh, out man, of it's, lot, not, man. it's not fun, bro. And I'm looking like because, because imagine if you're not married to this woman, right? And mm-hmm. she has to buy formula, and you know, and, and, she, and you hear from her like basically every every ten days, she's saying like, "Yo, I need eighty dollars." Mm-hmm. Like you gonna think she lying? You gonna be like, "You are lying. You do not need." And then guess what, dude? That's your weed money. That's yeah. your that's your quarter right there. And Gone. Don't, and don't let it be strictly. Just formula. Oh yeah, then it goes quicker than the ten days. Because we got we got formula, we got diaper, and that's and that's what I'm saying. It's like right. guys don't understand how it how expensive babies are. Which again is the frustration of women, right? The, the women, the reason why women are like deadbeat dads, and no, you can't see your fucking kid, and you know all this other shit. And of course, I'm gonna hit you for child support, and of course, I want to tell your wife is yeah. because this shit is hard, right? It's expensive. You got bro. you got you got another six seven hundred dollars just in formula. New clothes and diapers, bro. Every fucking month, just, like this is if you didn't have to get an extra bedroom, bro. Right. So, I uh, mean, so of course women are pissed off, bro. We got a crib and he don't even sleep in it. Yeah, no. And by the time he starts sleeping in it, it's gonna be time for the toddler bed, bro. This shit is crazy. So it's racket. Bro. Kids are expensive, bro. Kids are expensive. So why shit. would you do this shit out of fucking wedlock? And why would you say, hey, nah, you don't have to do it. You could do it alone. You, what? Shut the fuck up. Stop this shit, man. <laughs> like, look, listen, listen, listen to us. Listen to people that have kids and are, and, and are in relationships or been in relationships. You know, like, listen to what we're saying. If it, When it comes to wealth building and when it comes to your fucking peace of mind, bro, stop doing this shit. Look, have fun, date, go out with whoever the fuck you want. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? If you want to smash, look, I don't get this. You about to smash a chick raw and you don't, you don't feel the need that, like, you could even ask, like, when her period? Yeah. Like, if she about to let you smash raw, Bruh. you can't just be like, yo, when is your period? Bruh. Y'all because be- she in the moment, she probably gonna tell you the truth because it's such a random fucking question. Yeah, it's so random. yeah, you know, so it's like, bro, like if you can't understand just basic things of uh, how to be more responsible, how the fuck are you ever gonna get to a million dollars? You not, you not. It's not uh, gonna happen. Any, what else we got, man? Oh, well, let's get, let's get the hell out of here, man. I did not have the simp post of the week, but it's a lot of simps out there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm I'm exhausted. But we did hit one thing though. Uh-oh. So uh so Corey Holcomb made this video probably about mm. three months ago about Kevin Samuels, right? He was just saying like Kevin Samuels is gay. Okay. 
It, Corey Hogan is a comedian. Absolutely. Very offensive. Mm-hmm. He's so offensive that sometimes I can't even watch his shit because it, 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 it's not even funny. It's just like he's just doing it for shock value. Yeah. But um, Kevin Samuels, to Kevin Samuels' credit, last shit, this week, Wednesday, he actually created a video. Where he addressed the elephant in the room. Oh gosh, here we go. So let's let let's see what Kevin had to say. Oh gosh, that's that's what that's what they will tell you that Kevin Samuels is a gay man, <laughs> and the reason he goes so hard about the things he does because he so needs to. Oh my God! Oh! He's a gay man. He's a gay man, and you know what? To that I say, well, no. No, no, no. Kevin say that no. is not him. To answer the question, though, to answer the question that everybody came here to find out. Are you a homosexual? Am I a homosexual? Meaning, do <laughs> I have sex with men? <laughs> no. So, All right, you know, we're going to stop it right there. All right. Now, this isn't where Kevin is right, where Kevin is wrong. Kevin says he's not gay. Uh, I believe Kevin's. That was not gay because I take men by their word. Yeah. Um, Kevin is sassy, though. And we know Absolutely. why Kevin is sassy. And, and sassy is different from being gay. But we're not going to, I'm not going to play this, but at the 39 and a half, 39 50 mark, he said, Why do women attack um, men's masculinity when they can't get what they want? Absolutely. And or that, they just simply disagree. That right. is a trend that I, that, that I see online, right? It's like the moment mm-hmm. there's any sort of debate, mm-hmm. it becomes. You don't like women, yeah. Which is inferring that you like you men. You, you, you like men, Absolutely. right? So we I don't know why we pretend that that's not being inferred. Absolutely, you know. And that's we we have to get away from that. Mm-hmm. And everybody everybody got to take a stance against this because this, women can't say they are allies of the LGBT community mm-hmm. while simultaneously using slurs. Against yeah. to emasculate, yeah, heterosexual men. Absolutely. So, ladies, get a handle on that. Like, it, for real. Like today, you you can't do both. You can't. You, you can't. can't. You can't call a dude the f word. Yeah. And then simultaneously say, "I support." I'm with know, y'all. I, yeah, I'm with y'all. <laughs> like you can, you cannot do both. And and that's something I, that I'm going to say. Kevin is absolutely right on that. Is yeah. that you cannot do both. If if you if you don't like somebody, find find another way to. Use an ad hum, hominem attack. I mean, most of the time, people looks. You know, everybody's insecure about their looks. Like, if, yeah. if anybody watches this video right now, they can tell that I'm balding, right? Like, yeah. if you if you wanted to offend me, all you had, to, all you got to say is just like, "Oh shit, you can't grow hair on your head," right? Yeah. And I'd be like, "Fuck you." Yeah. <laughs> like, but you'd be absolutely right. I can't grow hair on my fucking head. So you know, until I get that loan money, look, like man. Elon Musk, look, uh, who who else got the surgery over their head, man? Tory Lane, Safari, <laughs> yeah, like, um. <laughs> They all got it. But, you know, yeah. I mean, if 10 years from now, you know what I'm saying? I got locks. And, you know, yeah. You know, like, yeah, I had the surgery. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's funny, man, because it's been going on. For, I remember it used to be the thing in high school. Um, You start watching. As soon as you disagree, you make somebody mad. Man, you don't even like women. Yeah. It's like, like, what? like, what? <laughs> like Wait, what are you how, talking how, about? How, okay, first off, how are these two things connected? Yeah. Secondly, okay, if I, if a man didn't like women. Okay, so what? He so likes what? men. So so what? Does it make him right or wrong? <laughs> exactly. Like what? What's the point? You know, like if a guy likes guys, okay, he a guy likes guys. Yeah. I mean, where we at? Where, where we at? Are you, are you trying to shame him into liking women? Because like, <laughs> that would be homophobic, ladies. <laughs> exactly, and that's exactly what it is. But for some reason, there there's a tremendous pass that's being given, mm-hmm. and it's like, yo, ladies, cut that shit out. Because because here's the thing, men. Masculine men get seen as homophobic, mm-hmm. and that's fucked up because sometimes there are masculine men who are actually homosexual. Mm-hmm. Not not every you know homosexual man is flamboyant. It's flamboyant or Absolutely. feminine, you know. So it, masculinity, you know, has some to do with sexuality, but mm-hmm. but it but for the most part it doesn't. It, it's 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 how a man is handling himself and how we recognize that man in society. Absolutely. So it's kind of fucked up. That that just is thrown out there. The attack yeah. on masculinity is thrown out there <laughs> because it's it, it's piss poor. Y'all know how y'all. Well, y'all, let y'all get past. That's man. it. I ain't got nothing else to say today. Hey man, we're gonna thank y'all for stopping through. We're gonna holler at y'all next week and uh, stay focused, please. Stay focused. Holler at your boy.